Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire introduced 18 new Mega Evolutions with their Mega Stones scattered across the Hoenn region. While you can find a few of them early on, you'll have to beat the game in order to unlock the rest. But since I noticed a lot of you are having trouble with locating these Mega Stones, here's an in-depth guide to getting your hands on every new Mega Evolution in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Depending on what starter you chose, you were given either the Sceptilite, Swamperite, or Blaziconite in Route 120 after using the Devon Scope to clear the Kecleon out of the way. You can later get the Mega Stones for the other two starters from the Stone salesman in Route 120 west of Fall Arbor Town. Each priced at 1500 Poké Dollars, the Withered Tree is the Sceptile Light, Ebb Tide is the Swamperite, and Fading Fire is the Blaziconite. Also dependent on your version, the Sharpedo Knight or Camerapetite is given to you by Team Aqua or Team Magma during the Delta episode. The opposite Mega Stone is given to you in the post game by the opposite team leader when visiting the Battle Resort for the first time. To get the Altaria Knight, all you need is an Altaria in your party. Fly to Lily Cove City, and east from the Pokémon Center, you'll find a Show Collection that will give you the Mega Stone if you show him an Altaria in your party. The Audenite can be found in the Battle Resort after beating the Delta episode. On the island shore, you'll find Looker who is confused of his whereabouts and is taken in by a woman. If you follow them back to the woman's cottage, Looker will give you the Audenite. The Beedra Light can be found in the locked storage room in C Mavo. You'll have to search the ship for keys to several other rooms before being able to access the storage room. But if you're having trouble finding them, you can click the box on screen to go to a full guide on how to get to the storage room. The Deante can be obtained when you enter a Pokemon Center with Deante in your party. There was an event that allowed everyone to get a Deante, but even if you missed out on that, there are still some willing people who can help you get your hands on one. The Galadite is given to you by the scientist in Fall Arbor Town after completing the Delta episode. His house is located southwest of the Fall Arbor Pokemon Center. The Glalie Tite can be found in Shoal Cave north of Moss Deep City. To get the Mega Stone, you'll need a mock bike in your bag as well as the Tide to be low in Shoal Cave. Push the home button and if the time falls between the low tide times on screen the tide will be low follow my lead through the cave into the basement and around the ice puzzle and you'll find it on the floor the Latios site or Latias site can be obtained during the storyline after defeating Flannery in Loveridge Town. Steven will take you to the southern island where you can befriend either Latias or Latios and obtain its Megastone. The opposite Megastone can be obtained from your mother in Little Root Town after completing the Delta episode. The Lopanite can be found in the second floor of Marvel City, which you can get to by taking the elevator. If you don't have access to the second floor, talk to Watson in the center of the city and you'll be able to access it. On the second floor, you'll find a man in black on the right side trying to deal with the tenant avoiding his rent payment and if you talk to him exit the area and come back he'll be standing outside again and will give you the Lopanite. The Metagross site can be obtained after the Delta episode when you defeat Steven in the Elite Four rematch. Until January 14 of 2015 you can also receive a shiny Beldum holding the Metagross site via Mystery Gift. To get the Pidgeotite, you'll need to help the little girl in Verdant Turf Town by helping her find her Shroomish. If you interact with the town sign, Shroomish will pop out and the girl will give you the intriguing stone as a reward. If you show the stone to Mr. Stone in Ross Bro City's Devon Corporation, he'll exclaim how that stone is actually the Pidgeotite. The Sablenite can be found in Sutopolis City by taking the East Bridge in front of the Cave of Origin. The Salomon site is given to you by Xenia's grandmother in Meteor Falls, southwest of Fall Arbor Town after beating the Delta episode. The Slowbro Knight can be obtained from the old man in Shoal Cave who offers to make you a shell bell if you bring him 4 Shoal Shells and 4 Shoal Salt. Shoal Salt can only be obtained during low tide and Shoal Shell can only be obtained at high tide. There's a simple guide on screen to show you what times to visit the cave to get each ingredient. The Steelix Knight can be found in the basement floors of the Granite Cave located north of Dufort Town. You'll need the Mach Bike and optionally a Pokemon with Flash to get to it. Rayquaza's Mega Evolution isn't dependent on a Mega Stone unlike every other Mega Pokemon but in order for it to mega evolve, it does need to know its signature move, Dragon Ascent. If you transfer over a Rayquaza from earlier games or accidentally overwrite the move, you can talk to Xenia's grandmother in Meteor Falls, southwest of Fall Arbor Town, and she will teach you Dragon Ascent. And that's how to get every new Mega Stone in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Feel free to leave a like if this video helped you out, and be on the lookout for a guide on how to get the 28 classic Mega Stones in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire.